All right, Possibility War fans, it is the 2nd of July, 2023. Welcome to our recording. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to be terribly long on this. It is the July 4th uh, uh, long weekend, and we have decided to play for an extra hour and a half tonight. Um, I'm still a little bit late getting things done, so it'll actually only be uh, a total of about three and a half to four hours of play that we're going to get. Uh, I'll take all I can, though. I love it. Um, so uh, tonight we're still in the one-act adventure journey to the dark heart which of course i've explained several times has was part of the original relics of power trilogy the destiny map but just didn't fit um we're going to continue that tonight uh we have ended scene three temple of the map and we are getting into scene four the transition was when the players actually entered the the threshold to the temple itself so we're we're going to continue um, uh, I, I think we have to do some scene ending and scene beginning stuff, but other than that, we're going to get right into it. Um, so without, uh, without much ado, um, uh, yeah. Okay, we're back. So, the normal ritual that we do is to, is to get everybody talking about what they did last week. Okay, and I see no reason really to change that. Oh, that's it. Flashlights. I forgot about flashlights. Um, uh, we'll deal with flashlights in a minute. But for right now, uh, in fact, while Chris is talking, I'm going to start working on the flashlights. Oh, Chris, what do you remember from last week? Good, sir. Okay, so we got across the uh, river. Oh, chasm. And, you know untied the bridge brought it over to our side though that in the end proved useless because they uh, parachuted in the uh he made it to the temple door uh speed ultra warriors tried to chase at us then they disappeared uh then it went from uh the that inserted the wooden rod we got from the spiritual warriors into the temple uh, door. Crank that. It failed with a gear popping out. Fixed the gear, fix, you know, cleared debris, and we managed to open the door. Afterwards, the city of Wuhan and his uh, shock troopers parachuted in. He went inside, closed the door, and once we were inside, I heard noises in the, one of the corners, which led to a murder hole. And through the murder hole, I saw a shock trooper, which I launched pyrokinesis at and singed lightly. Okay. Is that is, is that the extent? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to skip to Tomislav for a second. What did you say to him after he got all kinds of bullets around him? I said, I'm pretty sure we all agree that I'm the suicidal one here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, that I'm sorry, that is funny to me. That That's, that's awesome. That's the quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> It was super in character. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Uh, okay, so Peaches, do you remember anything beyond that? Well, I remember, uh, I think it was Toma. Who was it that took the rubbing? I just said. The, the rubbing was, was me. Oh, thank you. You know, why can't I remember one second from the next? Uh took a rubbing of the panels that we have and we need to try to find or figure out uh more about them that's why we're in this temple mm -hmm. uh, so we've laid calculus down at the entry and we kind of jammed it closed and so we bought ourselves a little bit of time to try to figure this out yeah yeah that's true huh I don't think those uh, shock troopers are going to be crawling through any murder holes. 
Oh no, no. Uh, murder holes are way, way too small. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we're still going to keep our heads <laughs> away from the windows, aren't we? <laughs> Are, are you I trying to keep yourself? Yeah, maybe except for him, but well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm still trying to figure out this vision issue. Uh, Darius, you are next. Um, I've been following along in my notes with what everyone else has been saying, and it looks like um, we've covered pretty much everything except um, the, the, the first thing that came down before Wuhan showed up was a uh, was supply crate was the first thing to drop. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then shock troopers and then finally Wuhan. Um, so they've they're not only out there, they're well supplied. Uh, but other than that, I don't have anything else in my notes. Okay, uh, so in, in the meantime, uh, let's see, we just took care of Darius, so Rios, do you have anything to add? Um, not really. I remember that Andon had a torch rather than a flashlight, but uh, other than that, like, everything's already been covered. Yeah, the, the torch is just what I want it to be. The flashlights are going to be a little bit brighter. So... Uh, Okay. Uh, all right. So that's Gavin. I wish Gavin were back in our game with us. Um, but he hasn't been here for like, you know, 95 episodes. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Katsumi, do you remember anything more? Uh, I recall you had a plan for something. I actually threw down caltrops in the hall entry hallway in case the Nile soldiers come down the hallway. They have a little um, problem. Okay, hang on just a second. That's freehand. Uh, let me get the... Oh, for heaven's sake, where do I put the settings at? Ah, settings, right there. Okay, so line with... Somebody, the, the stacks. Oh, yes. that's blue. Uh, that's the only thing I can add. Okay. Let's put that there. Hang on just a second. I'm going to put down a, a line. Okay. At the entrance to the temple. Oh, well, that's not good. Control Z. Why did you not do the line? I want it one. Oh, I got a configure default. I'm a yutz. Hang on. I'm getting there. Uh, configure default. Okay. And, I, well, that thin little line isn't going to be easy to see, but um, it'll be enough for me to know that uh, you've got caltrops down there. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and text. Okay. Caltro uh, yeah. Katsumi's Caltrops. And Modesto condensed, and we're going to put it as 18 should work just fine. Uh, let's see, configure default. And there we go. Katsumi's Caltrops. And, oh, come on. Oh, good. Good, good. Now, can I spin it? I can spin it. Yay! All right, so remember that, uh, Rios, you are not in any danger of, of stepping on any caltrops. Um, oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, Katsumi, anything else that you remember that you were thinking of doing? Uh, just keeping an eye down the hallway that I'm orientated on. Okay. As close as they can be with the system. Yeah, um, where your where your token is, I'm just going to say you're able to peek around the corner without revealing yourself too much. Um, okay. Let's see, what would you see down there? Uh, I've got to look from your viewpoint. Actually, hang on just a second. Can I get you? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh, well, that's still not what I'm trying to do. 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, yep, your light goes that far. Um, okay, at this point, uh, Katsumi. Let me let me see about peaches. Nope. Uh, Chris. Uh, uh, okay, so Katsumi, you can see. You and Chris can see what I'm about to describe, and everybody else will be able to see it soon too. Um, Let's see, Andon, no, uh, Rios, yes, and then Darius, no. Um, so, so Rios, Katsumi, Chris, and not really Toma. You're you're like your light is like right on the edge. Um, but you'll see this pretty soon anyway. You're able to see. Kind of a long hallway uh, here. What? Two, three, four, five, five, five meters long, six meters long, uh, and some kind of water. It appears to be water that is spilling over the side of some kind of a container. Okay. Uh, but before we get there, uh, that was just letting Wait, you guys know what you see. Huh? Where's the container, if I may ask, please? You should just be able to drag your map. Uh, Right-click and drag your map, and you should be able to see kind of uh, some motion down there. The the gra Yeah, the graphic is not real um, expressive, and that's on purpose. Okay. Okay. All right, so but that, that where I'm pulsing is where we're seeing the water at. Am I correct? Correct. That, oh, is, okay. that is correct. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second. And, okay, let me get back to where we're supposed to be at, where I'm supposed to be at, as the GM, that guy, I'm telling you. Uh, so, Toma, you are the last on the list. You were the first on the list last week. You're last on the list tonight, today, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I feel like everything's been... Uh... Okay. Pretty much covered. I have no idea what I could add. <laughs> okay. And sound check is good. I should have done the sound check, what, 16 <laughs> minutes ago. But the sound well, check is good. I, I check I check the settings before I get I open up or after I open up OBS, but before I start recording. So it's become a habit now. Um see. All right. So I, I went back and because my my writing of the temple entrance was so messed up, um, I must have been writing it when I was really tired, um, uh, I've rewritten it. If you guys want to hear it, if you don't want to hear it, that's fine. We can just move on. Or right. hell, I could even just share it with you. Let's do that. Configure ownership. Uh, observer. Save changes and then uh, show players and show players. Okay, so you're able to see the temple entrance uh, uh, there. I'll let you guys kind of read through it again, uh, and then I want to also handle what's uh, what's going on uh, in the chat from last week. Um, we're not going to do the finder evidence analysis test just yet. Uh, Toma said his thing. Um, Caltrops laid down an entry by Katsumi. Okay. If if you're either not going to read it or you're done reading it, let me know. Done. Okay. I'm still reading. Okay. Like I said, I had to rewrite it. It, it was nonsensical. I'm finished. Okay. Oh, so we've only got one hour of light from the torches. Joy. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me. I'm going to get out a dice. <laughs> a D6. Oh, the of the murder rocks. Oh, joy. I'm sorry, what's that? I said, oh, the clickety clack of the murder rocks. Oh, joy. <laughs> My rocks are not murder rocks. I promise. No, really. Uh -huh, sure. <laughs> okay, so as things Done. stand right now, you've probably had three minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. 
Uh, you probably only had three minutes on the torches. I'll, I'll, I'll try and make it as fair as I possibly can. Okay. Um, so that's... Did you say 30 minutes or three minutes? Uh, you've only been in for three minutes. Torches, okay. lights, everything like that. Uh, come on. So you've got seven minutes in this first sixth of the hour. Make sense? Oh, and I'm done as well. Okay, Chris is done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm Chris gonna... Chris is done. Okay. Gonna... Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna move towards Remington and down the hallway. Well, hold on. Hold on. Let's not go crazy yet. Okay. I mean, I'm already there, but you know. <laughs> uh-huh. I see your token. I know exactly where you are, Bubba. You're about to be shot. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking around. Oh, but there, there's, a, there's a good reason I don't want anybody to move just yet. Okay, and I'll, I'll get to that here momentarily. I'm good. Okay, so um, I'm apparently not. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. All right, so... Some of you know already that Nile Shock Troopers are not the best soldiers in the world, but in mass they remain deadly. So, the, the question you must surely be asking yourself is whether it's better to run and hide, hoping there is some place in the temple dark enough for you to escape the notice of Wuhan, if no one else. Or do you close the door? You've already closed the door. You've already locked it. Uh, there, there's really no way for them to get to the staff that, that uh, uh, helps lever the door open, okay? Uh, do you want to block it and attempt to defend yourselves where you are? Um, or, you know, how, how, how kind of do you want to do this? Okay, I had set, in, I had set up a five-minute timer last week. Um, I wanted to figure out if you maybe wanted to leave some people up front to, to you know, keep an eye on things. Um, uh, and send others further into the temple? Do you want everybody to just stick together? Mm -hmm. How do you want to do this? Personally, I'd rather we stick together, but if there's anybody who wants to do, you know, search the alcoves and stuff, okay, we should do that quickly before we continue on down the hall. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead. Else? Anybody else? No. I'm I'm of the mind that we should simply move forward as quickly as possible. Um, we don't know what the rest of this facility holds. Mm -hmm. There may be another way out, so we may not have to worry about backtracking. And if we do have to worry about backtracking, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But at the moment, knowing that we've got a danger behind us, I think we should just move forward as quickly as possible. I'm with that. I agree. Okay. No more crazy suicidal stuff. Unless I do it, then it's okay. <laughs> it's, 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 my, it's my job to be the big meat shield here, all right? Okay. As all of you kind of start moving forward, um, you might even be, you know, like halfway down the hallway or whatever. And you don't have to move your, your tokens just yet, especially since the game is paused. It just doesn't help to, to move tokens. Um... <laughs> As you're going along, you hear a, a voice, a, a kind of a strong voice that you recognize, at least Chris and, and, uh, and uh, well, no, Chris would. Sorry, I almost invoked Artorius. Um, but <laughs> there, uh, you, you hear a voice kind of coming from beside the murder hole, um, after after that voice yells several times, cease fire, cease fire. And then you hear, uh, basically, all of you are at least to this point, okay? At least here. Um, and you, you hear this deep voice saying, Wuhan would have an audience with you. Would you speak with him? And the voice that you recognize, uh, they're, they're right. Chris, is Captain Ahmedi. Was um, that the uh, other guy? He camp? was. He was the guy that was left unceremoniously face down after you bounced him through the air, throwing him at a at a samurai. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That sounds familiar. <laughs> 
Um, so anyway, if whether you stifle a giggle or not, and you probably told the rest of your friends here, you know, what happened while en route to, to someplace uh, uh, that you were trying to get to, um, it's, uh, you know, you hear his voice and it just brings back sour memories at the very least. Oh, boy. And all of you hear this voice. It's not just Chris. If they're, they're not being serious about negotiating, right? We're not actually going to do that. Um, uh, Rios, what do you think? Are they serious about negotiating? Can I make a roll? See? Absolutely. Um, let's see. Try a persuasion versus a target number of 10. This is for resisting persuasion or detecting persuasion. Gotcha. In standard difficulty. Yes. Well, I mean, I didn't roll very well, but my skill value is high enough. You, you trace a hint of, yes, they want to negotiate, but... Captain Achmedi's, the power of Captain Achmedi's voice is kind of underpowered, as it were. It sounds more angry than, uh, than in earnest. Okay. Delaying tactic? They're probably trying to threaten us rather than negotiate. They're like, you give up now and give us the stuff and leave and we won't kill you type of negotiation. <laughs> or is it just, move just on. a yeah, a delaying tactic. Let's get moving. Is that, is that what y'all want to do? I think it'd be best. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. Okay. So, um, everybody can move into this next room. Uh, I'll uh, let you move your own characters. Hmm. And yes, oh. you're. What's ah? Oh. The, the, the sounds of running water. It's so cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's I don't. Super cool. Hey, I'm an easily entertained man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, that I cool. I can't hear it unless I click on one of your, um, on one of your your characters, your one of your tokens. I can't nice. hear it either. You can't hear uh, it. Oh, you probably don't have speaker, uh, good speakers, huh? It it uh, is it well, is low. Rios is still over here. Oh yeah. Oh Rios, did you want to? Oh geez, you're in the dark. <laughs> I'll go ahead and move and near where you're going. Okay. Thank you. Much obliged. Is it just me, or are these tiles not aligned up with the square grid? They, they are not aligned. I spent 18 man hours over three days trying to align these tiles. And from left to right, they will not line up properly. And I think it was drawn Ooh, that, that way on purpose. Huh? Oh. That must have been frustrating. It was very frustrating. I'm an OCD, serious OCD type. Um, and I, I wanted these tiles to line up, but I've come to realize something about heroic maps. Um, you can get a basic lineup, but don't try to do anything advanced with it. And I think it's done that way on purpose. Uh, the purpose being that they want you to feel a sense of immersion when you're in the map. So, okay. Uh, this is a large room with a three meter diameter well near the eastern end. A stone fountain seems to float just above the edge of the well wall, though in, on closer inspection one sees a broad uncarved stone column holds it up if you're looking down inside that well. Uh, the water in the fountain is natural and from somewhere well below the foundations of the temple and seems to have an unlimited supply. Though the temple has not seen a living being in as long as five decades or more, the fountain itself seems pristine in its construction and purpose, which was obviously to provide an endless supply of fresh water. Now, let me go ahead and configure ownership on that one so that you guys can look at it if you need to. Um, any questions so far, or are you just going to keep moving forward? 
Well, uh, looking around for symbols that match those plates we have. Yes, there are symbols for the map tiles all over the place. Nothing, however, is aligned. Uh, let, let me rephrase that. There are symbols for the map tiles in a few places on each wall. That's that's a lot more accurate, I think. So, uh, let's see. We don't know where our plates were taken from? Um, uh, no, you haven't seen it yet. You're, I, I, I know that you're looking around to to find what you can uh, but yeah there's there's nothing that uh, uh, let's see yes okay uh, there's nothing that that really sticks out as being pried off or an empty slot for any of those tiles or anything like that okay uh how uh, deep is the well? Can I see the bottom? Uh, no, you cannot see the bottom. Um, you can see you can see the bowl, and you can see that it, it kind of arcs down underneath, um, uh, and then it rests on what appears to be almost a uh, oh the who are those guys that that do the uh, do the the the, str the masons you see almost a masonry accurate column coming up so it's coming straight up and it looks like it's been there for a very long time but there's water that trickles down it so there's moss underneath there's actually moss underneath the bowl um, uh, but it's it's green moss it's it's healthy moss okay uh, so if you wanted to get any kind of drinks, you could, or anything like that. Wait, so the pillar's inside the water? The, no. The pillar is underneath the bowl and disappears uh. down through down to the bottom of the well, and you cannot see that far down. Okay. So, okay. So we did that. This might be the fastest scene in history. So let's see. Uh, okay. So what what do you all want to do? I'm actually asking. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to keep I'm, moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Keep moving. Okay. I heard. Yeah. I heard Darius. I heard Peaches, and I thought I heard Katsumi in the back. Katsumi, were you saying something? I just said I'm still, I'm kind of being the scout and keeping an eye on the front while they were investigating this room. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, Chris, you can cross over a little bit, but uh, if you actually step into the bowl, you feel it kind of slide a little bit. <laughs> I mean, just want to uh, uh, show that I was getting up close and to take a close look at it. Oh yeah, no, I've got you. I'm I'm picking on you. I have to. It's my job. I'm the GM. Um, dun dun dun. Okay, so there is this dead end that's kind of down here, but there is a hallway left and right. So it do it doesn't go forward anymore. It just goes left and right. Who wants left? Who wants right? Um, I thought we were talking about sticking yeah. together. Well, <laughs> look how tight the hallways are. It's one person. Yeah. You have to be single file. I... Don't you I know in together. any investigation you've got to split up and look for clues? <laughs> <laughs> how else um, are the monsters trying to find you? Why are we trying to look for monsters? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some sort of TV show or something? Yeah. All we're missing is our talking dog. Yeah. Okay. What, dogs don't talk, though. Dogs can talk. If you get them the right cyberware. Fair enough. <laughs> Although, if you do find a talking dog, it's not always the best situation, and there's techno demons right behind it. 
Yeah, so I, I hear a dog talking. I, it... <laughs> <laughs> so do we go right or do we go left after this mountain? Or do uh, we split up? Well, does the map do say Paul, anything? Do I hear anything down this way? You do not, especially not over the water. Now I know the sound of the water goes goes far, okay? Uh but well, I know that you well, still hear it, huh? Uh, does the rubbing show us anything? Is it supposed to be a map of sorts? Which uh, which rubbing are you talking about again? The one that Darius took. Oh 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 oh. Um, well, he's still taking it. <laughs> so uh. the, 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 there, you you didn't actually get a map of the temple. It was a map of the 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 a tile relief. It it kind of looked like the tiles. Um, I recall now what you're talking about, so... Uh, right as always, write my book. I'll go right. Okay. <laughs> right is right. Okay, now, uh, who is, uh, who, who is, uh, b bringing along the, uh, two that don't have any actual light? Wait a minute. I thought Andon had a torch. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, he's a... <laughs> I thought he's supposed to. Yeah. Why isn't it active? Um, it's so dull. Well, hang on, hang on. Let me let me try and see what I can do about that vision modes. Uh, come here, torchy cakes. Okay, yeah, so it, there is a difference in the lighting when you select Kim and when you select Rios. Okay, hang on just a second. Fifteen one eighty five. Supposed to be light amplification. It should have taken last week. Um, don't need any detection modes, really. Okay. Like, he does have light. It's just not the kind of light you're kind of hoping for. 8C, 6E, 32. All else is defaults. And then I'm going to update the token real quick. And then I'm going to get him back for light. The kind of light that he actually puts out. Should be 15 and 5. Yeah, there was no work done on him. 15 and 5. Uh, oh, get back there. 300 for an emission angle. Uh, light color. Uh, E1E623. E, uh, okay, let's get that updated. Whoa. Must be a valid color. St oh, I know what I did wrong. <sighs> let's just copy the whole damn string. Okay, oh, family show, family show. <laughs> well, who wants to go right? Who wants to go left? Yeah, you figure that out while I'm working on this. Exactly. Well, everyone else seems to want to go right, so I guess Andon and I will go left. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Two have gone right. So <laughs> far. And two left. Yeah, so I'll, I'll guess I'll go right as well. Okay. And advanced options. I'm. I've almost got this whipped. Natural light. Attenuation point zero point seven five. Uh, shadows point five five. And then all else is defaults. Okay, so Andon should now be set up properly. And all right. Rios, did you have a light at all? Um. Nope. Okay. Just rely on Andon as per usual. Okay. Well, I apologize that wasn't set up well last week. It's Whoa, really... I have to collect Andy now. It looks like everything's through a vented filter. Yep. Yep, it's weird, all right. And then when I collect Rios, everything's neon green. With Rios, okay. everything's neon green? Ah. Yeah. Well, anyway, cool. do you want to go ahead and, and move your two characters? Preferably around <laughs> no. the well? Darius, will you go left with them, or will you go yeah, right? I'm just going left, yes. Okay. Um, Toma, you going right with the rest of us? Uh, yep. Already moved right. Yeah, All right. Going right. Okay. I've gone right through scouting ahead. Okay. You are scouting ahead. Um, Katsumi, let me go ahead and have a... 
uh, an evidence analysis test, if you would, please. Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to make it a, a 12 instead of a 10. Okay, that looks like it's pretty good, except it's a failure. How is that a failure? You don't have any penalties. The challenging was 12. Die total is 12, so that's 9 plus 0, so you got a 9. Uh, do you want to try and throw anything at that? I don't understand how it's a failure, though. Well, okay. Well, your, your, your skill value for evidence analysis is a 9. Your die total was a 12, which gives you a plus zero bonus. So nine plus zero is nine, okay? Your action total, right under where it says in big letters failure on your card in the uh, in the chat window, says action total is nine versus a 12 challenging test. So you, you did not succeed there. But it would only take three points to succeed. Does anybody have a card they could play? A supporter card? maybe or uh action i do or willpower i've got supporter okay uh, go. well y'all have to ask for them I'm, there you go play supporter so then uh justin on on your nephrochem card uh in the chat go ahead and hit plus three card near the bottom and that will that will be for posterity's sake okay now i am looking i've got your token clicked so you should be able to see the same thing I'm seeing uh, right about there you see kind of what appears to be collapsed stone you see does where it I'm completely something? block the hallway no it does not uh, it, lo it looks like it's a floor collapse okay if you look at the ceiling above the ceiling is more or less intact obviously as old as this temple is there there will have been some uh some amount of of uh, fall all right what about the grounded right in front of it does it look stable or not and the ceiling as well the the ground and ceiling here and over here look okay this just looks sketchy to you All right, well, then I will move up to here to kind of take a closer look. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, hang on for just a minute. Uh, let's get a roll from Andon for, uh, for the same purpose, challenging 12. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not good. Action total of three. Why is his bonus a minus four? Oh, oh for the die roll. The, it's the die roll. I keep forgetting to look at this stupid chart. Um, game general information, core rules and supplements, and then down at the bottom, I've got the chart. A roll of six is indeed a minus four. I don't know why that's such a hard thing for me to do, to understand. So, okay. Uh, so, what do you want to do? Do you want to try and enhance Andon's roll, or do you want to... Uh, you want to just let it go or, or ask for a supporter or an action or a willpower card? Um, I think an action card's not going to work. A willpower would, though. I've got a willpower if you want to trade. Uh, right. What would you like to trade it for? Roll. It only adds plus three. Hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah that's only going to add plus three. So, yeah, I guess you would need a possibility. Sorry. Yeah, you're, you're um, not getting points off there. Question, Paul. Yes. I have a second chance card. Would that be helpful in this situation, Brandon? If uh, if Rios is interested in trading for that, sure. But it's still no guarantee that that uh, Andon will roll well enough. So it's up to yeah, you. Two. I am willing mm -hmm. to trade for it if you'd like. Sure. What have you got? All right, I've got. Romance, reconnect, backup plan, or mistaken identity, or maelstrom. Uh, so let's see. Um, you might be able to share those uh, to your screen so that he might be able to read them. What were they again, please? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. Wow, why is that one so big? 
and the rest of these are not. Yep. I'll take mistaken identity. All right. <laughs> I love that one. That is so fun. <laughs> oh, oh, I have your mistaken identity. Oh, I definitely do. Okay. Um, Perfect. <laughs> this is going to be doomed. fun. This is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> okay. So um, do you want to go ahead and play that? Th or are you two trading? I, I'm not on the. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do I? Things are never in alphabetical order the way you expect them to be. Right? I know. And I've been bugging uh, Matt about that for two years now. Um, I, I don't think they're concerned with doing all that. They just want the system to operate. <laughs> There's no search feature either, so I can't just look it up. I'm sorry. Well, now, wait a minute. It should be in your hand. Yeah, it's just, I'm trying to find out who to pass it to, but I don't see them on the list. Never, okay. Kim? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm overlooking it or, like, I think you need to look for the, not the player, but the... The, the character, character, Katsumi. Yeah. There we go. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so do you want to go ahead and play that second chance? All right. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and, and re-roll for Anden. Right. And the target number is still a 12. Evidence analysis. Challenging. Go. Oh, that's worse. Yep, that's even worse. I Sorry. I, and I wasn't <laughs> trying to curse you earlier, Remy, <clears throat> um, for the, you know, by saying that it wasn't a guarantee that it would roll where you wanted it to roll. Okay, so uh, Andon kind of moves forward and he stops for a second and cocks his head off to the side and then he's like, oh, no, looks normal. Yeah, of course, la, 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 la. <laughs> what did Katsumi find? Uh, well, we're we're kind of going over that. Um, uh, Katsumi wanted to do what again? Kind of investigate, see if it's see if it's structurally sound. Basically, yes. See what, how much damage, if any, dan or is it safe to travel the whole nine yards? Well, okay. Um, how are you uh, trying to check its integrity? Because it's obvious it's a it's a uh, separate each each of these is a separate plate that's been laid in pull out my katana and tap it you tap it on crowd yep you tap it and um, the whole thing collapses down inwards um, and it goes on for about 3 seconds before it hits the ground lovely so roughly 30 feet or so mhm mm but that seems to be as far as it's gone. Now, what's going to tweak? Can I look down into the hole and see anything besides the plate? Um, what do you have that is directional that you could use? Uh, my head, and I have a visor on at the moment. Well, yes, but your visor you only has. Visor? Let's see. What what is? Hold on a second. Let me find out what the limit is on that visor. Uh, okay. You didn't put down the light radius. I so, did. I don't know if it's stuck. But. Well, hang on just a second. Uh, I, I love having these vision modes, but they're, they can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so let's see. You have, what is it, glowing HUD visor? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Basic configuration for vision. Vision enabled. 27, 185 light amplification. Detection modes are nil. Advanced options. Vision color. You've got the vision color. Well, no, you really don't have the vision color in there. Hang on. I, I have a green color that I see on my map right now. Yeah, I know. As if it were my yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. Uh, hang on just a minute. Brightness is 1. Saturation is 1, not 0. 0.5. 
Oh, stop. Uh, all else is default. So hang on. Let me get. Oh, let me get back to you and check out the light that you're emitting. So it's two zero. Uh, angle ninety five. Zero alpha seven thirty one echo. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see, color intensity is 0.25. Let me save that real quick. And then light animation, two and three. You've got that set. And then options, 0 0.55, 0 0.4. Uh, shadows is 0.5. You've got everything set. Um, but that's as far as you can see right there. Okay. Uh, if you can, you deselect your token. Like, click, click somewhere. There's not a token. Bear with me a moment, please. Okay. Not seem to want to let me not unselect it. Okay. Um, well, your vision is only two meters ahead. Okay. Or, or uh, no, I'm sorry, the light you put out is only two meters ahead. What you can see is up to um, up to 27 meters away. Um, can that... Yeah, yeah, you can see down. Um, you see what appears to be what you would probably know as an oubliette. But it's only 30 feet deep and there are tall spikes at the bottom. And the uh, the pieces of stone that fell down are, uh, are resting between the spikes at the bottom. All right. What's the distance on this square where the pit now exists? Uh, from one edge to the other. Oh, from one edge. Um, you would say that at the top, if you look around, it, it covers uh, the square you're standing on, the square that just fell in, and the square ahead. It's about three meters in diameter. At the bottom, it's only about one meter. But What's the condition of the wall on this side and this side? Pretty good condition. They're they're in pretty decent uh, decent condition, uh, but they are flat. There's not a whole lot to grab onto if that's what you're looking for. That was exactly what I was asking. So thank you. Mm -hmm. um, now bear in mind right. what it, what is the oh, stride okay. of what is the stride of a normal human being? Mm -hmm. I don't honestly know. A, about three feet or a little bit more. If you stretch out, you can go further. And a leap is typically three to ten times that much. Okay, depending on on your strength and everything like that. The what you're on, what you're standing on, and the uh, the stone on the other side. Um, you don't know the structural integrity of that other stone. You feel like you're standing on a pretty stable surface right now. Uh, but you, you know, if you try and jump, what is it that you're going to find? Um, if you try and just step over very gingerly, uh, that's going to cost, uh, it, that's going to be a dex roll to, to make it over that. Could it be an athletics roll? It could, very much so. Then I'll jump it with an athletics roll. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make your athletics roll. Give me just a second, bringing up my characters again. Okay. So I can oh, be close so I could look at what I was looking at. <laughs> is Darius standing around in the middle to see who is successful? <laughs> I was I was facing the uh, I was facing the left tunnel. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Re Rios. Um. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just call it a 10. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that's probably very nice. I need to get back over here. Yes, you got to say, okay, so you have a good success. You're able to step over and you feel when you when you set your foot down on this stone right here, okay, you feel like it's a little bit loose, but it's not like preparing to collapse under your, under All right, your weight. I will relay that information to the next person behind me so that they're aware of it and can account for it when they try to move across. Okay. Uh, as I'm moving forward, just as a precaution, I'm testing the floor. Okay. As I, before I move into a square, test the square. If it's sound and stable, then I move. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to have you do a whole bunch of dice rolls for that. Uh, uh, no real sense in, in doing so. Uh, the floor is pretty stable the rest of the way. But yeah, you you turn around and you actually let Ginger hear your voice, or uh, Peaches hear your voice. Yes. Although I... Uh, hold I'm, on, I'm I was asking that. Justin. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. So you hear this feminine voice from this ninja mask... Uh, coming back at you for probably the first time since you've met Katsumi. Yeah, she's so talkative. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so this one right here is what Katsumi was talking about. Okay. And Connor, I see your tag is there, so you know which one I'm talking about as well. Okay. So, uh, for you three, 